Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So let's get started. All right, you guys, in today's video, in today's video, I am super, super excited for today's video because I have a new perfume right here. This was totally like a blind buy. This was like out of nowhere. I was on the computer searching for new perfumes and this perfume came up and I was like, whoa, didn't even see this coming. So I have here the Oscar de la Renta Bella Bouquet. And let me just tell you, I do like the Bella line. I do like their collection. I do have three of them. There is four. There's the gold one, the white one, the pink one, and the black one, which is the midnight one. It's like black blue, which I don't have. I do have the other ones. So when I saw this, I was like, whoa, I gotta have that. So I did get it. This one was $50 and I got it from a perfume retailer on eBay. I don't know much about this perfume. I did see the notes and I'm so curious. I don't think this is a perfume that I would just buy by looking at the notes. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna see if this perfume is was worth it or not but either way i needed to have it for the collection so let's open it up let's look at the bottle and let's take a look at the scents all right so we have the bottle right here and i gotta say you guys this bottle is so freaking beautiful i am obsessed with the bottle i'm obsessed with the color it's definitely a turquoise blue it's just a beautiful beautiful elegance of bottle and i absolutely love it i actually like all of these bottles the little floral design that these bottles have and i'm obsessed with it so yeah let's get to the scents but before we do i am gonna read the notes all right so this one has top notes of bamboo clementine peach and green tea the middle notes are magnolia jasmine sandbag rose and iris and the base notes are musk cedar tonka bean and sandwood so very floral I'm guessing very woodsy. I don't know you guys about the notes. Nothing about those notes intrigue me except for like the clementine, the iris, and the musk. I do like perfumes that have those notes. So moment of truth. Let's see what this smells like. I'm super excited for that. Okay, I like the way that it sprays. It sprays really, really nice. All right. Wow. Wow. I just got the first hint. Here we go. oh my god <laughs> you guys i like this i like this and i'm liking it a lot whoa i was not expecting that all right so this is described as a woody yet floral scent and i'm thinking when i think about woody perfumes i'm thinking like uh like literally wood tobacco leather stuff like that but wow okay so the very first thing that i'm getting out of this perfume is green tea it smells really really nice but it smells minty it smells like when you're chewing gum like that minty gum and it's so refreshing and it's so minty but yet a bit sweet that's what this reminds me of like someone that smells really really clean and really really fresh in the mouth it's just oh my god wow this is beautiful so i do smell the clementine i do smell the peach at first and i do smell the green tea a lot like i said it's very it smells very fresh and minty but it's really really good that's the first thing that i'm getting out of this perfume i can smell the jasmine and i can smell the rose which it does have jasmine sandbag and rose okay so i do get those floral notes but it's not overpowering in the floral department it's not too like fresh rose petals or fresh cut green grass it doesn't smell like that but it does smell a little bit like fresh flowers like a fresh bouquet like the name says the bella bouquet it does smell a little bit like a fresh bouquet but it's not it's not too strong i do still smell the green tea on this all right so reading the notes again musk cedar tonka bean and sandalwood those are the base notes which is what it's going to like literally smell once it dries down fully it is a bit musky, but not too musky. I don't smell the cedar. I don't smell the tonka bean. I probably can smell the sandwood, which it smells like fresh wood to me. But I don't know, you guys. I can still smell mint. I can still smell something fresh, something clean. Maybe a little bit shampoo-y. 
Oh, it also reminds me of something aquatic, something that it would smell like the ocean, like a clear water. That's what I'll, also I'm getting. It's very floral, but yet sweet at the same time. Yeah, you guys, I don't know. It's just a really beautiful, clean scent. I thought that this was going to be like a fall type of scent. I'm not getting fall vibes out of this perfume. All I'm getting is just a nice floral perfume, a nice bouquet, fresh bouquet. It's very... I don't know, smells very oceany, but overall I can smell the green tea, I can smell mint, and yes, it's a bit sweet, a little bit sweet, and I think the sweetness comes from the clementine. I think the, the, the juices of the clementine, or maybe even the peach, that's what I'm getting. I'm also smelling a little bit of the bamboo. Like, if you think about bamboo sticks, if you ever smell bamboo sticks or wet bamboo sticks, that's what it reminds me of. Or maybe sugar canes, if you ever smell sugar canes. That's the vibe that I'm getting out of this perfume, but it's really, really beautiful. I'm really, really enjoying this perfume. Let me spray some on my skin just to see how it's going to set because I really, honestly... Wow, I'm really liking this perfume, you guys. I don't know so much about the longevity. I don't know if this perfume is going to last, if it's going to stay on for a long time or not. But I do know that the other Bella perfumes, they do stay on my skin and on my clothes for about three or four hours, depending on how much I spray. This is an Eau de Parfum. It's the 3.4 Fluid Ounce. So if it is an Eau de Parfum, I'm assuming that it should last on my clothing and on my skin about three to four hours with the amounts of sprays that I did on my skin. And I'll probably spray two more times because, yeah, you guys, I really like this perfume. So if you are into uh, fresh perfumes, clean perfumes, maybe a little bit soapy, but overall green tea and minty perfumes, you're gonna like this perfume because I really, really am enjoying this perfume. And that is coming from someone that's obsessed with like sweet perfumes, vanilla perfumes, gourmand perfumes. I'm really liking this. I am really, really liking this. If I would have saw the notes and I really didn't care for Oscar de la Renta like that, I probably wouldn't have bought it because the notes just don't convince me. But because I do like Oscar de la Renta and I do like the Bella line, I wanted to give this a try and I'm so glad that I did because this is just, wow, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful, minty, a bit sweet, clean, oceany type of perfume and i absolutely love it and i highly recommend it if you're into those type of scents so again this is oscar de la renta and this is bella bouquet and i'm so far really really liking this perfume but all right you guys that is pretty much it for today's video that is pretty much it for today's review if you guys like this video and you guys are enjoying my content please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new to my channel hi my name is edgar O, and i am obsessed with everything in the fashion world especially perfumes so if you are a perfume maniac like myself stick around click that subscribe button to be part of the team but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait to be gossip on our next one until then i'll see you next time bye